If there's one area I don't really get into with PC gaming, it's gaming laptops. But my younger brother does game on a laptop, and thanks to Best Buy sponsoring today's video, I get to surprise him with a new one to kick off 2024. The laptop in question is from Alienware. The one I have here is one of their newer loaded up M18 models. This one's running a Ryzen 9 7945 HX, an RX 7900M GPU, 32 gigs of memory, one terabyte of NVMe storage, and their 1080p 480 hertz display. This model is available right now for just under $2,800. I borrowed this one from Dell so I could get a feel for what their current top line stuff looked like. But one thing I never put together about gaming laptops is that because they're an entire system, when new models get announced or go on sale, older models go on deep discount, much more so than you see on individual components in a standard gaming PC. Like this Alienware M15 with some really impressive specs that's $700 off. Or an i7-12700 model for nearly $1,000 off. Using this strat, I was able to find what I think is the perfect gift for my brother. But before I show you, let's find out what he's working with right now. He has no idea what I'm up to, by the way. I told him I needed some comparison specs for a video I'm working on. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, good. So tell me a little bit about the laptop that you have right now. Yeah, my, uh, I, it's an Acer Aspire. I think it's a 2017. Um, I picked it up on Black Friday to replace like an atrocious HP $300 Walmart one that I was using for school. I remember that one. <laughs> it, it took about 10 minutes to boot up. Yep. So my current one, I think it, it's got an i5 in it, uh, 8 gigs, um, and then it's got a GeForce MX150 processor, which is a gaming processor. So that's like your, yeah, it's like your GPU, probably, yeah. So not exactly a high bar to clear. It's honestly pretty embarrassing that I've been running a pretty successful tech channel for a while now and I've been letting him walk around like that, but I've had my reasons. He and his wife have a beautiful one and a half year old daughter. They've just relocated. He just started a new job and he just finished his bachelor's degree a week before Christmas. The past two years have been crazy for them. I couldn't be more proud of him, but I didn't want to give him something that was going to distract him or take his eye off the ball. But now it's time to get him fixed up. So thanks to Best Buy, I was able to get him this. This is an Alienware X17 R2 and the specs are a bit older, but for someone who's been walking around on a budget laptop from 2017, this is going to be a massive leap forward. This has an i9 12900H, 32 gigs of DDR5, one terabyte of NVMe storage, and NVIDIA RTX 3080 mobile, and a 17.3 inch 4K 120 hertz display with G-Sync and Optimus. I think he's gonna feel the difference. I wasn't ready for this thing to be so big. It's thinner than you'd expect, but it's got a huge footprint, mostly because aside from the power cable and the headphone jack, all the ports are on the rear, and there's a lot. Two USB-C ports, both with power delivery, one with Thunderbolt and DisplayPort 1.4, two USB-A 3.2, a 2.5 gig ethernet port, a mini DisplayPort, a micro SD card reader slot, and an HDMI 2.1 port. It's got Wi-Fi 6 too. I don't have anywhere near this level of connectivity on my personal Razer Blade 50 laptop, so I think he's gonna be good to go. The case color is what they call lunar light, looks super clean. Inside is like dark gray with little specks in the finish. It does fingerprint, but there's plenty of palm space here that stays cool even when you're pushing this thing really hard for extended periods of time. Love that. The keyboard itself is really comfortable too. If there's one big low point for this laptop, it's definitely the speakers. They don't sound great to begin with and they distort at very low levels. I would use almost any other audio solution instead of these. You get per key RGB lighting here on the keyboard, but I wish the secondary legends were lit. You also get assignable lighting for the Alienware logo on the lid and on this insanely bright ring around the back, which he'll probably want to disable if he's using this at like a coffee shop because it's bright as functionally. I had to see how this thing performed in game because my brother stays in contact with his longtime best friend back home, mainly through gaming and his current laptop doesn't handle a whole lot. So how, how does that do game wise? Do you play a lot of games on it? Good. I mean, I can do popular older or very forgiving titles like uh sea of thieves deep rock galactic i do have to bring my uh my quality down to shameful <laughs> looking like it's like 1987 but she still runs and it's still fun so i just do like gaming so that's good enough for me uh... 
So yeah, this thing absolutely crushes anything that he's currently playing. I can't wait to see his face when he sees these graphic settings compared to what he's been looking at for the past five years. Hopefully it encourages him to download some more modern titles. And for that, he's gonna need some more hard drive space. I'm gonna hook him up with an additional one terabyte of NVMe storage before I send this out. This thing was a piece of cake to open up and get into. Strangely, there's no heat shield over the secondary M.2 slot, but I don't see him doing a lot of long sustained writes all that often. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue. We've got an 87 watt hour battery in here. Now he'll definitely be running this plugged in when he's gaming, but for the times that he does need to go mobile, I just loaded up a YouTube video and let it run until it died. I got two hours and 50 minutes. I gotta say too, this is an IPS display. And despite not being OLED, this is one of the most impressive panels I've seen in a laptop. Because it only measures 17.3 inches, the pixel density at 4K is crazy. So you can totally bump this down to 1440p or even 1080p if you wanna dial up other graphic settings. On games that take advantage of DLSS upscaling, you can lower the resolution to improve performance and still come away with some crazy visuals. Looking at some of the improvements they've made on newer models, we do see some of the ports distributed to the side, which I really like, and they've managed to finally backlight all the secondary functions on the keyboard, which I'm also a really big fan of. Now, obviously this newer unit with its current gen hardware is gonna push a lot more frames, so we're not gonna concern ourselves too much with that, but I will say that I greatly prefer the 4K 120 hertz display versus the 480 hertz 1080p display on this model. My brother's not really an under the hood kind of computer guy, so I've got this thing all updated, tweaked, tuned, and preloaded with some of his favorite games so that all he has to do when he gets it is power it on and go. The only thing left to do now is pack this up and deliver the good news. Real quick before I let you go, I'm going to be sending you a brand new laptop. What? It is a Dell Alienware. It is a 12th gen Intel i9 processor. It has a banger screen. You're not gonna have to worry about not seeing wood grain anymore. And it's, uh, it is, it's 17 inches and it's, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's all white and it'll give you and James the ability to play games the way you guys really wanna be able to. And now that you've got school under your belt and it's Christmas. Thank you so much. The Steam Pickens have gotten very slim as new titles come out. And we were just talking the other day. I'm like, I, I still can only play like Raft, dude. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome, man. Thank you so much. I would imagine that this new laptop is going to cook the J-Man's rig. I will get it out to you. And uh, yeah, bro, congrats. <sighs> I can't, even, I, I can't even hold it together for this video. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of where you are. I hope this gives you, like, now that you have a little bit of stress relief, I know you still have a toddler, but now hopefully when you when you have a little bit of downtime, it'll be that much more enjoyable for you. I'll just, I'll just drag it in the walk-in closet and, and do some gaming. There you go. Uh, I love you, man. Thank you so, so much. I love you too, man. Merry Christmas, and uh, give my best to everybody. Give my niece a hug. Give Courtney a hug. I'll talk to you soon, bro. So with CES announcements in just a few days, now's a great time to start watching pricing if you've had your eye on a certain laptop because chances are you're gonna see some pretty hefty discounts. Thanks again to Best Buy for helping make this happen today and I will catch you all in the next one. Stay up.